Scott Brown here. A couple of weeks ago, I got a message from a subscriber who wanted some work done. Well, they happen to live right next door to the kitchen job. I'll show you what we're doing at this side of the fence after what we did yesterday. You know, it's pretty typical in New Zealand as a builder to never have done a kitchen. See, we uh, build and renovate houses and then the cabinet maker comes in and does the kitchen. And that is pretty standard when it comes to building in New Zealand. And this job isn't any different. Pato and I are getting everything ready for the kitchen. Today the electrician will be there and we're getting ready for the plasterer. Alright, so the electrician's here. Kitchen guy just came and went. He's all good for Friday and uh, yeah, now we just nog and get stuff ready. Hey Sparky. So we need to cut a bit more plasterboard off here because the electrician needs a cable to go from this area to that area. It's to do with the fridge and everything else that's going to be in there. A lot of rubbish, Pato. Name fam. Oh, <laughs> yeah, plastic wall experiment is uh, it might be failing. The wind keeps catching it and pulling it. Thanks, Sparky. I appreciate it, bro. <laughs> so I'll give you, I'll give you an elbow, and I'll give you a, like a little bit of uh, conduit. Yeah. Things we do for the sparkies, eh? There's the kitchen there. Plumber's in there now, pulling the sink out. We've had the plaster there already. Oh, look at that, eh? Sweet! Nice. And he's probably gonna return again this afternoon. But what we're doing, this wall is going. So it's another question of, is it a load-bearing wall? To some degree it is, but not completely. See, this is the wall line here, but as you can see, there's no roof structure landing on it. Oh, 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 oh,
making sure I walk in the right house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're at the next door neighbor's house and this is the wall. This wall is supporting the ceiling, not the roof. So we need to put something up there that will support the ceiling and then this can go. Check out the uh, check out the old timber conduit that they used to put the cabling through. Classic, eh? Native timber. How about that? Here's the planer, bro. Here's the planer. Tell you what, it's very handy having the jobs next door to each other. Plaster has been here, and the tiler just arrived to prepare this floor. You see how it's falling the, the wrong the way? The wrong way, yeah. yeah. They, they brought it through the wall too high and then just put a cupboard on top of it. Oh wow. Uh, that pipe's actually going up as it leaves the house rather than down. So water doesn't like to go up. You can see the problem a bit clearer now. We're going to see if we can put the pipes behind the new bin drawer that's going to be in that corner. Hopefully it works. Back to next door. I'm just checking out your uh, <laughs> your van setup. <laughs> no. <laughs> next, next week. <laughs> Give me a week to sort it out. <laughs> okay. Sweet ass. This kind of stays in order, more or less. Yep. But the top gets messy. Because <laughs> you just add stuff. No! No! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll do a van fit out <laughs> together. So this is the beam that we're going to put up in the ceiling here. A couple of 150 by 50s, and we're gonna nail them together. All right, bro, go crazy. So you wanna be a builder? Very hot, very hot indeed. So I have to stress that you can't do this to replace a load bearing wall, but now that now that this beam is on this wall and on the wall the other side, it's supporting the weight of the ceiling only, not the roof. Yeah, right. So, I'm not using the airbow because it's uh, out of air again. Now we can, now we can take the wall out. Alright guys, kitchen goes in tomorrow. Tyler's come back to do the tiles on Monday. Tyler's gonna hang this front door tomorrow as well. Plumbers pulled his stuff out. The kitchen is going to plan. Catch you guys in the next exciting episode. Chef Pido using the Chef Pido hinge jig. <laughs> Look at that. Thing of beauty. Ken. I'll tag him in this. Woo.